Hi, this is Pastor Roger from Mount Zion United Methodist Church at Peach Bottom, welcoming you to our message for young people today. And uh, today, as we lead into Thanksgiving week, Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday, I'm going to talk about Thanksgiving, okay? Now, I'll bet you have heard the story of how the first Thanksgiving took place. It was a feast celebrated by the pilgrims. It happened up in uh, Massachusetts. And it was the year 1621, just over 400 years ago. Boy, that's a long time, isn't it? And it was a, a, a tough year for those pilgrims. They had gotten here to America too late in the year to plant any crops. And because of this, they were hungry a lot of the time. And they weren't healthy either. Many of their friends and family got sick, and in fact, almost half of them died during that first winter in America. So when the harvest came in the fall of 1621, by then the pilgrims knew that they were probably going to be safe. They had plenty of food to eat now and plenty to store away for the upcoming winter. And the pilgrims wanted to give thanks to God for, uh, for giving them so much. So they decided to have a feast. All right. Their neighbors, the Wampanoag Indians, brought deer they had hunted. And everybody settled down for a huge meal. The celebration lasted three days. Wow, Thanksgiving here uh, these days doesn't last three days. I mean, we got to run off to Black Friday. But anyway, most everybody knows that this is the story of that first Thanksgiving feast. But you know, it's not the only story of Thanksgiving among those pilgrims. See, two years later, in the year 1623, 1623 was a very dry year at the Plymouth Colony in Massachusetts. There was a drought, and the pilgrims were worried that their crops would fail, and they wouldn't have enough food. But you know what? They still had Thanksgiving. Now, it wasn't a feast. It was kind of a fast, and when times were hard, they would take a day and just not eat. They did this because they wanted to focus totally, completely on nothing but God. They thanked God for what he had given them and prayed for his help through the coming winter. And you see, whether the pilgrims had a lot or a little doesn't matter. They wanted to thank God for his provision, what he gave them. So they didn't just thank God for providing them with food. They thanked him for giving us his son, Jesus. You see, the Bible says, in 1 Thessalonians, it says, Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. You see, God has already given us his son Jesus to take our punishment for any bad things that we've done. So whether our tummies are full or our tummies are grumbly, whether the future looks bright or the future looks kind of scary, we still have a lot to be thankful for. So let's pray together. God, you have given us so much over the last year, but the most important gift ever is the gift of your son, Jesus. Thank you so much. Amen. Well, that's our message for young people today. We're glad you have tuned in, and we thank you for doing that. And just a reminder, if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to like and share this video. That way all your friends, all your family, your friends, your school classmates, your neighbors down the street, everybody can see this video and they can learn that it's important to give thanks to God. So we appreciate that. Thanks for doing it. And we will see you next week. Until then, you just have a, a wonderful and blessed week and a happy Thanksgiving.